Hey guys, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to recycle, like what to do with your old calendars, um, so you don't just throw them away. Also, sorry about my nails, like, they're kind of irritating me, but I didn't feel like taking off my nail polish, so yeah. <laughs> so, also, Happy New Year! Um, so this should be my first video I'll post in the New Year, so yeah. So this is my old calendar from last year. I'll just put it up like that. Um, it has all these really cute cupcake pictures, and I thought that they were really cute. So I know I've mentioned about a couple of these things before, but I just want to uh, tell you guys in one video. So, alright. So the first thing that you can do is you can use it as scrapbooking paper. Um, here. Just get it to the one that I want to show you. Here. There we go. So like, look how pretty that would look in the back of your, like, as your scrapbooking, um, you know, thingy. Like, uh, what do you call that? Like, the scrapbooking paper. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, um, so you can, like, use scrapbooking paper uh, for decorating things. So, yeah, so there's a lot of things that you can use that for. Second idea is to use it as a poster. This is the February one, so it's kind of like it could be good for like your, um, for like that when Valentine's Day comes, you can use it as a poster to put it up. Um, there's also this other really cute one. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. There's that one, like, where the bunnies are <laughs> so cute, like, for Easter and stuff. So you can use those for lots of posters. Um, so, so there's also some, like, pretty ones. I guess it depends on what you have for an uh, old calendar. Um, so, yeah. You can also use this as a wallpaper, like, um, get a whole bunch of different ones and paste them onto, like, your, maybe your door or something. I, what I did with, I have a bunch, I had a mini one as well. And I used it on the back of my closet in one of the shelves, and it looks so pretty. And I outlined it, the trim with um, it's like the sequency ribbon that I got from a friend for my birthday one year. So yeah, I don't know if you know about those, but you know those like clear drawers that you can get from Walmart, and they're just those plastic ones, and you can get them really tiny or really big. Um, and sometimes you don't like to see what's inside of them. Instead of putting just like white paper, you can cut out your pictures and um, paste, like, slide them. There's little pockets normally um, in the bigger ones, and you could slide that in. Um, I'll just, I'll show you with a small one. So this is one of the really mini ones. I actually got this one from the dollar store, but um, inside of here, well, I have bobby pins in this one. But you cut out this paper and you slide it inside of those little, um, these little, there's little, little, uh, what do you call those? Uh, pocket things? I don't know. Uh, that you slide the paper in and you can see it on the outside instead of seeing, like, hair ties or something like that. So there's... Another. So another idea is for these different uh, seasons, if your calendar has like different things on it like mine does, like obviously this is a Halloween one, so you can put it on your bulletin board. Um, and uh, it depends how big your bulletin board is, sometimes you'll need a lot, sometimes you only need one. So yeah, so those are like all my ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, bye!